What's up, everybody? It's your boy P. Loud Pack Boxing. Um, kind of just wanted to do a wrap up for the weekend. Um, we come, we fresh off a dominant performance by Terrence Crawford last night, man. Um, what does that mean? Um, a lot of people were calling for the Terrence Crawford versus Earl Spence fight now. Um, which, in my opinion, we still need to see the Danny Garcia Earl Spence fight next month. See how that plays out first. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's not just a walk in the park for Earl Spence. Earl Spence is coming off a horrific accident. It's worse than losing any boxing match you can think of, so... Um, to come back against a guy like Danny Garcia, who is still, you know, a top five fighter, <clears throat> is uh, serious. So, um, but in the case that he does convincingly get past Danny Garcia, then hands down the Terrence Crawford versus... Earl Spence is the fight to make no if ands buts about it <clears throat> if Earl Spence can go out and make a statement the way Terrence Crawford even close to what Terrence Crawford went out and did you know last night then the fight needs to happen but you know like I said I don't want to jump the gun because we still have to see what happens um, next month. I mean, happens with Danny Garcia and um, Earl Spence. A lot of people were like, just kind of writing Danny off in this fight. And had Earl Spence not had the accident, I might kind of feel that way. Not write him off, but, you know, anything could happen during fight night. But I will feel a little bit more um, secure and um, Earl Spence. But right now, in my personal opinion, we don't know what we're going to get from Earl Spence. You know what I mean? No disrespect, but like I say, he's coming off something that I don't know what you get equated to in the boxing world. <laughs> you know what I mean? The dude got thrown from a Ferrari. So um, I'm sure it's a lot of um, physical and psychological damage that came along with such a act, such a horrific accident so um but I, I i i commend him for just showing the heart and wanting to come right back and go with a guy like danny garcia i do commend him for that dangerous but i commend him just showing that that heart of a warrior you know we always knew earl spence was a warrior you know so um even throughout this ordeal he's still showing that heart of a true champion, a true warrior. So, um, but like I said, you know, we have to see what happens next month, but if Danny Garcia pulls it off, you know what I'm saying? And like I said, in convincing fashion, y'all, not just a, a squeaky decision. You know what I mean? For me, that won't be enough for me to say, yo, yeah, him and Terrence Crawford need to, you know, line up. You know what I'm saying? That's not enough for me. If he go, if he stops Danny Garcia or dominates Danny Garcia, then, you know, I'm all with, you know, champion for this fight again. You know what I mean? I was a big champion for this fight last time and it just a lot of bullshit made it fall apart. So I'm not that type of person to just keep getting behind stuff. You know what I mean? But if those stars line up, then I'm all about getting behind this fight and pushing it again because um at that point it will be a fight that i really want to see i mean you know terrence crawford last night you know real quick i just want to bring up you know kel brook like in one of my other videos i gave him his props i said he's been in there with triple g earl spence and now terrence crawford you know what i'm saying um he's been in there with some killers Kel Brook and held his own, you know, but 
Terrence got him out of there in four rounds. I mean, you know, and the way he got him out of there with that shot that Kel didn't even see. None of us even saw it. It was just that short right hand. It was beautiful. But anyway, the, 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 the way he got him out of there and the fact he got him out of there quicker than a guy like Triple G and even Earl Spence, who's who are guys that are known to be big power punches, just says something about Bud. You know, in my opinion, I've been a Bud fan since day one. It's not like a big thing to me. You know what I mean? I've been new to it, but, you know, his skill set, he has a lot. He can do it all. And I saw that pretty much from day one that this kid was special and he had a lot of things to bring to the table. Now, the politics of the fight game can determine sometimes whether or not you, you turn into a, a boxing superstar. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he isn't as big as he should be because of the politics of the game. But skill-wise, you know, I mean, number one, pound for pound. Not just according to me, according to a lot of other people. But definitely came off a very impressive, dominating victory last night. And um, like I said, if the stars line up for Danny Garcia and, I mean, well, for Earl Spence, when he faces Danny Garcia, then... I'll be open to, you know, get behind that fight again. You know, matter of fact, I'll be, like, demanding that fight again. You know, don't let it slip away twice. But um, that's all I really got. You know, I just wanted to kind of touch on people talking about Terrence Crawford. He needs to fight Earl Spence now. And, you know, but we still have to see where Earl Spence, will he get past Danny Garcia? You know what I'm saying? So... It's still, we don't want to jump the gun too quick, but um, that's all I really got. Let me know. Y'all hop in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about the situation. Um, do y'all think Danny Garcia is going to run through? I mean, Earl Spence is going to run through Danny Garcia. And um, if so, are y'all down to see this fight again, get behind this fight again? Um you know, make sure y'all subscribe to the video, hit the notification bell, um, the like button, all that good YouTube stuff. Um, and yeah, that's all I really got, man. Let me know what y'all think about this little welterweight situation. And it's your boy P, and I'm out.